warning Hendra Kier. Such a privilege and honor to share from the Word of God again. Let's just bow our heads, Lord Jesus, as we are moving into your Word. We ask you the grace, Lord, to become one with you, with your power, with your blood, with your Holy Spirit. In Jesus' name, Amen. I want to ask you a question. Do you allow life to change your heart, your mind, what you are doing, your dreams? Or do you allow God to change you? I want to read this morning from John 9, verse 1 to 3. The heading is, A man born blind receives sight. Now, as Jesus passed by, he saw a man who was blind from birth. And his disciples asked him, saying, Rabbi, who sent this man or his parents that he was born blind? Jesus answered, Neither this man nor his parents sinned, but that the works of God should be revealed in him. This is such a wonderful answer that Jesus is giving to his disciples. They were looking to the, at the situation and saw sin. They saw a wrongdoing. And how many times do we have a, that point of view of life as well? We're looking to life from our abilities. We're trying our best to do the will of God as children of God. We're trying, giving our strength, giving our money. And you know what? I want to tell you something this morning. God doesn't want you to change the life that you have through your power and your ability. He wants you to live differently, think differently and feel differently because of who He is inside of you, who He is changing you to be, how He wants you to look at life, feel about life. But there's a problem. Sometimes we want to keep our hurt for ourselves because it's my hurt. It's my problem. It's my way of seeing things. But I want to tell you something this morning. When you gave your life to Jesus Christ, you committed fully your heart, your mind, your future, everything you laid in God's hands. And God has the power to change everything. I want to tell you something today. We might not change what happens to us. But we can change how we react towards what is happening to us. And as something is laid out in our lives to happen, we have a choice how we're going to handle it. Because the Word of God is planted inside of us, ready to wait on what is our choice. Do we allow a life? to lay the carpet, the red carpet for our lives? Or do we allow our relationships with God to determine how we're going to react? Because that is faith. Faith is not seeing. Faith is believing in what God has done for us. We have to apply it. We have to use it and not be affected by people that does not know what is the will of God for us. So many times the devil wants to stop your path, your faith, because he knows spiritually as you are living out God, it allows light to be shone on your life, 
on the people that's close to you. And it gives an answer, it gives a path, because the Word of God says that Jesus Christ is the way, the life, and the truth in John 14 verse 6. In Hebrews 13 verse 8, he says that he's the same yesterday, today, and forevermore. You see, life happens, but God changes circumstances. But he's waiting for you and for me. He's waiting on our choice. He's not forcing us. We must give our hearts to what we believe in. And that makes us to be in unity of either God or the circumstances, the world around us, which are mostly influenced by darkness. So we must make a choice. We must decide in our hearts, where is my commitment? And I want to tell you this morning that this, this is something that you grow into. It is step by step. God will guard us. He will protect us as we are growing. But as we are in a more responsible time of acting our faith, God will allow us to take more steps in our faith as we are learning to incorporate His life into our life. This passage that we read is such an amazing. Go and read it again. It's John 9 from verse 1 till 12. Even the people around this blind man, when the change of Jesus Christ came, they could not comprehend what happened. They were not ready for that because that's not life. That's not what life dishes out to you. But God is God. You know when that old saying, when you get a lemon, make lemonade. We are so fixed on what is happening to us and not on who God is for us. The biggest victories that we as children of God get is not how life happens, but how we choose to handle life in faith. And the blessing of God returning unto us because we are lifting Him up. Firstly, not looking to what is happening and what people are saying. Because verse 3 says, But that the works of God should be revealed in Him. Let the works of God be revealed in you. We are made to honor God and God and His happiness lies in the faith that we have towards Him, in that we don't trust what happens around us, but we trust in what is in His heart. But He will only re reveal what is in His heart if we draw close to Him, if we seek Him diligently in all times, times of pain, times of not knowing what is the next step, God knows. Let's pray. Lord Jesus, bless us this morning with this word. Let us know You are in control by the faith that you wants are, want us to have in what the truth is, the truth of Jesus Christ, the truth of that you will never leave us nor forsake us, Jesus. We love you, we praise you. And even in this time, as you are preparing your people, Lord, prepare us in faith, prepare us in sight of how to walk in this world of darkness. We praise you and love you in Jesus' name. 
Amen.